Seth Brown, Harrison, Junior. Before Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout-out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Money Brown TV. Money Brown TV. Hey, Brian Garcia here. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight Well, This is your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on two future Hall of Famers. We have the former WBC heavyweight world champion who reigned for five years, made 10 title defenses, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, the Alabama Slammer, one of the hottest superstars in the game. Then we got Jamel the Iron Man Trollo, who is the unified um, super welterweight world champion, looking to be undisputed when he take on Brian Castano July the 27th. Now, Jamal Trollo, you know, is up on the fire, man. He's been coming. And, and saying some 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 things to Deontay Wilder, coming on Deontay Wilder post when he's doing this interview, saying things like race to, um, race don't matter. And now the latest is his girlfriend coming out and saying things to Deontay Wilder. And this is what she said, y'all. She said Wilder needs to stop being a pussy and get his win back and stop making excuses. Tyson won fair and square. Nigga got stopped. Tile was thrown in. Put some respect on Fairy Name because of his talent, not because he's white privilege. So you sit the fuck, shut the fuck up, cause we don't give a fuck. Oh, tune in July 27th. My nigga about to be undisputed. So this is um, Jamel Charlo, you know, girlfriend speaking to, T to Deontay Wilder like this. A motherfucker that she don't know, never met in her life. You feel me? And she's all the way out of pocket, all the way. But we know Jamel and Jamal has been saying things to Deontay Wilder that's been out of pocket. You feel me? And it's okay to voice your opinion on a fight. But when you start getting disrespectful towards a man, that's what, that's what things go 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 sideways. You feel me? Now, we all know Mel came up on the Wilder. Um, he was doing an interview with PBC. And Wilder got to talking about he felt like, you know, Tyson Fury was uh, white privilege. And he got away with certain things that he felt like somebody else wouldn't get away with. And those are his thoughts, man. He got the right to feel how he want to feel. You feel me? And, you know, Jamel Cholo come in at a time that that, that is not, you know what I mean, it's, it's not a good time for you to come up under that post and put, um, uh, you know, the race don't matter. That's just not a good time while the man doing this interview. You feel me? If that's how you feel, that's how you feel, bro. You know what I mean, nobody can tell you how to feel. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But when somebody is doing an interview like that, you got to watch it, bro. You got to watch it. You feel me? Now, we all know Wilder's about to get his rematch um, against Tyson Fury in the third fight of the trilogy that he had to bust his ass off to get. That he was he was obligated to the third fight, but he had to bust his ass to get that rematch. You feel me? Uh, we all know Tyson Fury was trying to get the um, the undisputed fight with Anthony Joshua. And, you know, Deontay Wilder took him to arbitration, and he won. He won. You know what I mean? A lot of people feel like... Um, he fucked up something that was going to be so amazing and so great by Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua facing each other for Undisputed. But Tyson Fury already knew himself. He knew himself that he had to fight Deontay Wilder the third time. And y'all know I keep it real, I keep it real. I ain't finna shake cold shit for nobody. Tyson Fury knew what was up. And he was trying to rob Deontay Wilder out of his third fight. And, and, and you know, thank God the judge saw Deontay Wilder away. You feel me? Paperwork don't lie, man. Paperwork don't lie. And Fury and his team, they try to, you know, swindle and, and, and mix and match and try to make some moves so he can get the fucking undisputed with Joshua, knowing he had to fight Deontay Wilder for the third time, right? So Deontay Wilder came out on top. He won that that that, that um case, and nobody still ain't getting managed just the way. Everybody's still, you know, shitting on him. But my thing is this with Jamil Cholo, and I do feel like Jamil Cholo owed Deontay Wilder apology. Him and his girlfriend owed um, Deontay Wilder apology. And people can feel how they want to feel. Because first of all, you don't come talking to a grown man that you never met. You feel me? You never met this man a day in your life. She don't even know this man. From a can of paint. Don't know him at all. If he was to see her, he won't know who the fuck she is. You feel me? Certain things men need to do, right? Don't let your woman disrespect another man. Don't let your woman disrespect another man, bro. That's what you just don't do. You got to put your foot down somewhere, dog. You understand me? Her coming out, making these posts, calling this man a pussy, a bitch. He need to shut the fuck up and put some respect on Wilder. I mean, on Fury name, this, that, and the third. Girl, you way out of line. You way out of line. Because first of all, you don't play with no grown man like that. That man have a whole wife. You know what I mean? And you're going to have to see his wife. And when you do see his wife and you're a little young buck 
and Telly is a grown woman, and if she snatch you by your hair and drag your ass all around the ring or all around wherever she see you at the facility, you know what I mean? You ask for that, for disrespecting that woman um husband for no apparent reason. Now, with Jamil Cholo and Jamal Cholo, right, because we know Ronnie Shield is good friends with um, um, Mark Breland. So, you know, a lot of people feel a certain way about Wilder and Mark Breland's situation, but that's Wilder and Mark Breland's situation. That's their relationship. That's something that you can't you can't talk on or you can't touch. You feel me? Like, a lot of... I mean, you can put your two cents in, but at the end of the day, them man's been with each other for I don't know how long now, right? They made history. Um, Deontay Wilder reigned for five years, bro. He reigned for five years just as a, as a heavyweight world champion. Him and Mark Breland, they made history with each other. That's something nobody can take away. Not Mark Breland, not Deontay Wilder. They linked forever. They linked forever. You feel me? But with Wilder firing Mark Breland for his reasons and what he thought happened, that's his right. That's his right. Now, people got the right to voice their opinion, but people don't got the right to go out here and try to disrespect this man to the level like they, like they was in a camp or like they know him or like they know what really happened. You see me? So when Jamel Cholo come out and he say all these things, these negative things towards Deontay Wilder, when Deontay Wilder didn't ever show him love, it's off the wall to me. It's, it's just, it's, it's like, it, it ain't right. And then not only you, you got your girl coming out and speaking. That's what's getting to me. Like, you a fighter. He's a fighter. Y'all can see each other. You know what I mean? Y'all can see each other. Y'all can, you know, how y'all back and forth. Maybe you can, you can express how you feel and he can tell you how he feel. But at the end of the day, you know, your girl coming out saying what she's saying and she been, you know, using harsh words like that, she going to have to stand on that. And that's when things can get sour, when things can go to the point of no return. You feel me? Because if she know for a fact, she won't say that in that man's face. She knows she's not going to say that in that man's face. And if you sit there while she say things like that in that man's face, then it just tell me what type of man you are. You feel me? Because nobody, like, for instance, if I'm somewhere and I got my woman with me, and I'm saying something about another man, and me and him going, well, it ain't even a back and forth, but I'm saying something about another man, and my girl wants to get out of line and just come up there, you a pussy, you a bitch, you need it. Man, sit your ass back. What the fuck is you speaking to that grown man for? They don't got nothing to do with you. Stay in a woman's place. Act like a woman. Act like a lady. You feel me? And this ain't no you, um, um, you know, man, you can't do this here. None of that, bro. It's just a woman got her place, bro. And speaking it about another man and jumping in another man's face, that ain't no place. Because if that man was to, you know, react and, and something get physical, and I'm not against um, putting hands on women or none of that shit, right? Because it's just words and nothing like that. But, you know, different people react a certain way, bro. Especially when you call somebody a bitch and a pussy. And that's how shit escalate, bro, to something where either somebody end up losing their life or some motherfucker going to jail for the rest of their life. Or somebody ending up in jail or a lawsuit or some shit. Because she couldn't stand up place and you didn't put it in her place. But at the end of the day... You know, y'all shooting all these horse shots to Deontay Wilder. When that man just that man just minding his business now, getting ready for his fight, right? He getting ready for his fight in July to take on Tyson Fury. Like, you should be getting ready for your fight to take on fucking Brian Castano, who's a hell of a fighter. A hell of a fighter. You should be wasting your goddamn time worrying about what Deontay Wilder doing or jumping in that man live stream talking about this and talking about that. Let that man handle his business as a man. That's what he's doing. You feel me? That's what he's doing. I didn't see Deontay Wilder telling you you was a crybaby, you was a pussy when you was talking about, you know, Tony Harrison and you being robbed and shit like that. And it's just keeping it real. And I like the Charlos. I like them. And I'm going I'm to continue to watch them and I'm going to continue to support them. I see a lot of people saying they not support them no more to each their own. Right? I'm going to support them. I want to see them become undisputed. I want to see Jamal become undisputed. I want to see Jamal fight Canelo Alvarez. But right is right and wrong is wrong. And I'm going to speak the truth. That's the only thing I know how to speak, whether you like it or not. You feel me? People not going to agree with everything. But in this situation, he should have checked his girl. Check your girl to make sure she's not playing with grown men, bro. Make sure she's not playing with grown men because she's a little girl at the end of the day. Jumping up in that man's face. Don't know what the fuck she's talking about and speaking out of turn. You feel me? Really speaking out of turn. Now, if he was to call out her name and call her this and call her that, and she get into her feelings and try to throw a blow at that man, shit can escalate. You feel me? But with, Jam um, with Jamel... Coming out saying the things he's saying, oh, you know, he need to stop saying this. And Jamal coming out saying he just got his ass whooped, things of that nature. It just shows you where they're coming from. And it just shows you how they feel about Deontay Wilder, which is some bullshit. Like I say, because Wilder never disrespected them dudes. Never. He even got Jamel and Tony Harrison on his on his um, Instagram page saying he can't wait for their fight because that shit going to be 
you know, an entertaining fight is going to be interesting. Call Jamel Cholo one of the best in the division. You know what I mean? But to see this type of shit and this type of action from them, bro, is kind of mind-boggling to me. It really is. It really is. Because first of all, y'all don't know what the fuck went on. Y'all got y'all opinion, but at the same time, state your opinion. But don't get the disrespecting that man and calling that man out his name. You know, like like y'all just so cool with Tyson Fury like that. Y'all not cool with Tyson Fury like that, man. Y'all don't even know Tyson Fury that well. You feel me? I don't even know that man that well. But you go against your country, man. This ain't about... It, man, it's crazy. You're going against your own country, man, for somebody that won't be going to, for you if you was fighting one of their country, man. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? And we say this is America. We say this is America. And America don't even go for America. You understand what I'm saying? Now, let's just say if Jamel Cholo was to fight a UK fighter. Let's just put um, uh, Chris Eubanks or put a 154-pound, um, you know, fighting in on with Jamel Cholo. Tyson Fury not going to be pulling for them dudes. He not going to be pulling for them. He's going to be pulling for the UK, his countryman, wanting them to make history. You feel me? But that's just how far we are lost, bro. That's just how far we are lost. And that's the, 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 the distance that we got, bro. Like, you should be pulling for your countryman to win, regardless of anything. America should be first. Your brother should be first. That's just how it is. Period. But they got their own way of, of feeling shit, how they feel. Like I say, we know that they are, are you know, got a, a tie with Mark Breland. So they probably feel some type of way about Deontay Wilder firing Mark Breland. So that this thing go to Deontay Wilder, which is bullshit. I don't like for people to put perception on the man if you haven't met him yourself or you don't have a, or, or create your own relationship with the man. You feel me? So I just feel like this. Jamil Cholo is out of pocket. Jamil Cholo woman is out of pocket. If you feel like Deontay Wilder made excuses about the accusations and you want to criticize that, you know, in a boxing way, I get it. I can't knock it. I can't knock it. But when you start getting disrespectful, calling a man a bitch, a pussy, and all that shit, then you out of pocket, homie. You out of pocket. And if that man stepped to you, you got to answer them questions. You and your woman owe that man an apology, bro. Jamel Cholo, you and your woman owe Deontay Wilder an apology. And if I was Deontay Wilder, I'd be looking for that apology, family. I will be looking for it because they're out of pocket. The shit that she said is just way off, way off. You should be worrying about promoting your man fight, not worrying about another man and what he got going on. The same with Jamel Cholo. You should be worrying about getting um, ready and preparing for your fight and not worrying about what this man got going on with Tyson Fury and, and, and what he's saying on his interview for him to get a chance to speak his piece. You see what I mean? He's speaking his piece. And you come trying to take that away from that man like big, like the mainstream media already took away from him. You did, and I just feel like it's bullshit, pure bullshit. But if I was Deontay Wilder, I'd be looking for my apology. Now, once again, man, congratulations to my dude D on winning the third fight. Go on and do what you got to do. Um, July, get that title back. Get that title back and bring it back to America, baby. Jamel Trollo, good luck to you against Brian Castano. You out of pocket, your woman out of pocket, and y'all owe that man an apology. And we'll see how this play out in the future. But until then, this your boy Monty. This the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.